Insidepunch.com. We're live at Wild Bill's Fight Night. It's the Toys for Tots event. We know the fights are going to be awesome, but we want to focus on this wonderful event, an event that they've done three years running. It brings thousands of toys to needy children. So let's talk to some of the people that are involved with this great event. Standing next to Dave Oblis, the promoter, one of the promoters. Dave, this is your third year in a row you've done Toys for Tots. What drives you to do this event, man? Um, it's just something to give back. We do about nine or ten fights a year, and we came up with this about three years ago. It's just been a cool idea to pack the house out, do a couple of pro fights, a couple of amateur fights, give about 3,000 toys to charity. And December's always been the worst month for doing fights, so this actually turned it into one of the best fights of the year, and just something really cool for me and Amelin to do. Now, who do you guys work with just to get this thing rolling? I mean, I've seen boxes all over gyms, everywhere. Is everybody involved? Yeah, we've got, I think, 13 fights tonight. That's 26 fighters, probably a good dozen gyms. And it's just cool working with the Marines. Like, every meeting I go into is pretty useless, as you know, around Atlanta. Like, people just don't get it. But the Marines, they've gotten it, they like it. And it's their favorite event, the Toys for Tots Fight Night, because they're always at Publix or Kroger, wherever they're at. And they actually fight to be the Marines that get to work for this fight night. Now, you guys have had a huge year. You put on a ton of fights. I think it's at least every six weeks you put on a fight here at Wild Bills. What does 2012 look like for you guys? Hopefully equal to 2011. This was our busiest fight at 10 fights here at Wild Bills. We did one at Harley Davidson at Cartersville. We did one at a Harris Cherokee. Um, we've already got January 27th here at Wild Bills and March 9th. So we're definitely going to do it about every five or six weeks this year. So hopefully as good as last year. All right, thanks, Dave. Feels we go laughing all the way. Hanging out with Megan Schwartzlander of X3 Sports. We're talking about this big event, Toys for Tots. I know you guys at X3 made a big deal about it. Why so much effort? Um, we always try to do a lot for charity. Um, we actually have an X3 foundation that supports underprivileged or estranged youth that can help them with arts and academics and athletics. So anything we can do for children in and around the area, we will do, regardless of what it is. Now, X3 Sports, you guys even offer classes and stuff like that over in Marietta as well, don't you? Yes, we do. Um, we actually have several kids on scholarship that wouldn't afford to be able to box or to grapple or even just take some regular sports training that we just, we pull them in, we, you know, get them off the street, get them out of trouble. It's, it's just what we do. It's X3 Sports. Check them out in Marietta. Always doing good things for the community. Hanging out with Tim Stout from Moab Fighting Concepts. Tim, you, you guys made a trip all the way from Noonan to be a to be a part of this special event, man. What's that mean to you to be able to give toys out to some needy kids? It's awesome. Even before I become a professional fighter, I worked with needy kids. I work with troubled kids. And it's 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 amazing to see what a small gift can do to a kid that don't have anything. So it's 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 a pleasure to be a part of it. Now your gym and your you're, you have a big footprint down there in the, in the Noonan area. You guys do some stuff to help people out as well. What's some of the stuff you guys do to help out the community? Well, we work with different charities. Uh, when I do my shows, we'll work with like some, um, some animal rescues. We help them. We draw a lot of money for them. And we even a lot, of the, a lot of the families in the area can't afford the type of training they want for their kids. And we give them deals and help them any way we can. We really want to see that the kids are our future, so we've got to do that. Well, if you're in the Noonan area, be sure to check out Moab Fighting Concepts, Tim Stout. Hanging out with Uli Pohl of Knuckle Up Fitness, Sandy Springs. Uli, I saw pictures online, man. You guys really got behind this Toys for Tots. What drove you to give so many toys? You know, honestly, uh, Jose, this is the best event of the year, I think. You know, it's such a good cause. It raises to, uh, all those toys for all the kids. And it's just something cool to really get behind. So, you know, obviously all the other, the other gyms did it as well. And it's like a, kind of like a friendly rivalry as well as helping the kids. Now, Knuckle Up, in my opinion, had a great year this year from Mo Travis, Tisha Torres, um, all, all the Up Church, Gee Curry, all these guys had a great year. What do you think about 2012 for Knuckle Up Fitness, man? Oh, man, it's even better, buddy. Honestly, we've got such a very like cool dynamic uh, crew of people going right now 
it's become such a family you know the gym faced such adversity and 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 that working through it has brought everybody so much closer together so it's just become a really really awesome team this is uli paul be sure to check out knuckle up fitness in sandy spring hanging out with amy lynn of wow bills amy lynn third year in a row you guys are doing this toys for tots fight night what does it mean to you to be a part of this event? Man, it's awesome. I'm hoping that we get 5,000 toys tonight and make a lot of kids smile. You know, it's it's kind of weird. A lot of people scratch their head because they're like, a, while, a fight night that's free, but you act you even act different on fight nights like today because it almost seems like it makes you just feel good about it. Is that am I accurate in saying that? It does. It's such a community and everybody gets together and it's just like we're breeding things and making people happy and I, I just love it. It's awesome. That's Amy Lynn. Alright, so there you go. A quick look at Toys for Tots at Wild Bills. The fights are still going on. Thank you very much for checking out this episode. On behalf of Kimberly Sargent, I'm Jose Santiago, wishing you happy holidays and a very prosperous new year. Thank you for checking out Inside Punch.